Hey family, Pastor Joe here, I'm back at the in the Magnolia Youth Room at our Magnolia campus. Uh, take a few minutes with this morning to give you our Tuesday uh, e-blast update of what's going on. First of all, you did get a newsletter. I'm hoping that you'll take some time to look in the newsletter and uh, see what's going on, what the events are that we're, we're, we're sharing, the other things that are happening in our church body. I do have an article I think it's very important for you to take a moment just to read. It's called... Uh, uh, when is it safe to come back to church? So take a moment to read that. And uh, if you can't read or can't open it for some reason, just email me back and we'll try to get you a different format which will work with your particular computer. It is a PDF file. Most people can open that. Uh, but I do want to say a couple things to you. One, if you weren't here Sunday, I preached a message entitled How to Stay Up in a Down World. Uh, certainly everything in the world seems to be down at this time. If you weren't able to be in the server, so you didn't get a chance to look at the live stream, it's still online. Go back and watch the service and uh, pay attention to some very important points. There's about six things I make, statements from uh, the Word of God, I think, that will help you in the days that we're living in. But today, as you look around, you know, not a whole lot changed since Sunday when I talked about the, the how the day that we're living in is certainly tense and filled with anxiety, fears, and doubts, and struggles, and financial issues, economic woes, and issues facing the nation. Uh, people are troubled. People are hurting. Uh, some people are finally starting to pray about what's going on. But I just want to remind you that in the midst of all this, what we have is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And along with that, if we've truly given our hearts to Christ, we are new creations in Christ. Remember that. And remember, you know, that because of that, we live a different kind of life. We live on a different level. We don't ignore what's going on. We inject ourselves as the light into the darkness. I talk about that some in our, sun, our Sunday morning service. So be sure and, and, and open that up if you haven't taken time to look at it. But I made a decision, you know, uh, in the context of all that, in the context of where we're at today, I'm, I'm just not going to participate period, and a lot that's happening. I'm just, I'm not going to participate at least the way the world participates in it. Uh, you know, uh, you can give yourself over to what's happening in this age and really be despondent and really come away depressed from it all. But I've just kind of make, I'm, I'm not going to participate in the fear. I'm going to participate in the joy of the Lord. I'm not going to participate in, the, in all the oppressive things that are coming that create fear in people's hearts and minds. I have a confidence in God's word that all things do work together for good to those who love God and those who are the call according to his purpose. That's me, so I'm not going to participate in the fear. I decided I'm not going to participate even in the divisive spirit that's out in the age. There's so much division. I even said Sunday, I think we're, and I've said it in, in the last couple of years, I really believe that the nation is on the verge of a really major rift and divide that may lead to even greater violence in the world. But I, I'm, I'm not going to participate in the spirit of divisiveness. I'm going to be a unifier. The Bible said, blessed are the peacemakers. So I'm going to point people to the way of peace and the life of peace and the peace that's in Jesus Christ and show them how to make peace even with each other. You know, there's a passage in, in Ephesians chapter 4 that talks about who we are as the body of Christ and the power of the unity of the Spirit when we're fellowshipping together and we're all right with God. And he goes on, he says, so these things are true. Around verse 14, he says, so let's grow up. And your mama ever tell you that? My mama did. Grow up. It's time as believers to grow up into who we are in Christ Jesus. So if I'm going to grow up, I'm not, I'm not going to play the games. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, he said, she said, we said, I'm just going to point people to the unifier of all things. And that's Jesus. Hey, I even made a decision. I'm not going to participate in COVID-19. Okay. So what if you get it? If I get it, Hey, God will give me the grace to get through it or take me on home to the greatest graduation day I could ever hope for in my life. I mean, Jesus saved me for really one purpose, ultimately, and that's to be with him and to fellowship with him. So I'll just be where I belong, back home. Right now, I'm just passing through anyway. So grow up. Get over that, all right? Don't live in fear of that. Hey, I'm not going to participate in the economic downturns and the economic fever that's going on where everybody's afraid of and of what next day might bring. I think I'm just going to rest in the grace of God and realize there's another economy that's bigger than the U.S. economy or the Chinese economy or all the economies of the world all thrown together. I'm just going to believe God that he's, he's going to take care of me and my needs as he promised. So I don't think I'm going to participate in that. I don't think I'm going to participate in all the anxiety that goes along with the rest of it. All right. Again, I'm going to lift up the cross of Jesus Christ. I don't think I'll participate on the ongoing debates that are out there. You say, well, what are you going to say? I'm just going to lift up 
and point Jesus to Jesus as the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords, and that the way of peace in a, in a person's life, not only inner peace, but peace with others, is to find peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So I think I'm just going to, if I enter on any de debate, it's just going to be on that level. I'm not going to participate in the angry mob. I'm, not, I'm just going to stand back and, and point people to Christ and say, here, Jesus is still the answer in the midst of every storm that is raging. So I'm going to grow up. That means I might have to quit whining, moaning, complaining, whimpering, accusing. And I'm going to be, a, I think what we could really call us to be the people of God what God called us to be. So I'm praying today that you'll join with me and say, I'm not participating in that. I'm participating in the kingdom of light and the kingdom of grace. I love you more than you know, and I look forward to seeing you in our next services. So come be a part of what God's doing. These are great, awesome days. God bless you.